Hi, it's Jacqueline here at Nerd Mom's Life, and today we are going to talk about time blocking planners and why I don't make pretty planners. I don't know. If you like planners, managing the chaos in your life, productivity tips, anything like that, do me a favor, thumbs up, like this video, subscribe, ring the bell, comment, find me. I'm Nerd Mom's Life everywhere except Twitter where I'm Nerd Mom. Let's get into it. If you don't know, I love a planner. I do. I like a paper planner. I like an online planner. I like all the planners. But I will be honest, um, as much as I love my Google Calendar for sharing with my family, I like to write things down. I've tried the to-do list. I've tried uh, calendar blocking on Google Calendar. It just doesn't work for me. And I know because I've read enough productivity books and frankly coached enough people that time blocking is a great way to control your calendar, to lay out everything you have to do and get a plan of attack. And in reality, I like stickers. I like pretty planners. I like all that. I watch all the pretty planner videos and I'm like, I can't commit to that because while I know in my brain I need to be time blocking, I don't feel like I can commit to it on my planner because if Monday I plan on doing five specific things that Tuesday I build on, what happens when I get a sick kid? What happens when I don't feel good because I've been sick all month and my productivity can be hit and miss sometimes? What happens when I don't meet those goals? One, I don't want to have to erase my planner. I don't really know how to. But two, I just feel like a failure at that moment. My real life doesn't match my planner and either I have to black everything out and it's not pretty anymore or what? Or I just wait. And for the past six months, what I've kind of been doing is in my mind, I have what I want to work on every day, but I haven't been writing it down, which means when we get there, sometimes my mind doesn't always remember everything I want to do. And I do daily planning. I have a separate daily planner that I work on. And I started writing down what I hope to get done every day in my daily planner for the week. And a lot of it didn't look right, but okay, but how do I do my weekly planner? Because my weekly planner is kind of that place where I map out my week. I kind of go, okay, kids have this. I have this. I can maybe do this. So I'm trying something new. I'm going to go ahead and change views. And we're going to go top down and take a look at my planner. Okay, so first we see this is last week's planner. One, extremely cute. I love this. This is just from a little pad that I found. I couldn't resist. But yes, so this is extremely cute, extremely full, loved it. And I used this method on it. So first off, I laid out my whole week in sticky notes. So I'm filming this on Thursday the 9th, so you can kind of see where my process is. So I laid out all my sticky notes. I didn't go too much more in detail past here. But so Monday was going to be quite a day, wasn't it? I was going to edit a vlog, annotate, outline, write two different articles, do uh, TikTok check-ins, all of it. Do some Harvest Weekly. Film. I was going to spend an hour on a Coursera course. The whole bit. Well, in reality, it looked a little different. So let me move these. I did do my vlog editing and annotating. I made all my grocery lists and meal plans. I ordered groceries and I washed my hair. I'm also tracking my Pomodoros right now. And I only had three sessions of like intense, leave me alone no matter what's going on work time. And then Tuesday, my Tuesdays are garbage. That's why I basically thought I'll film in the morning and then I'll be done. Well, that didn't happen. I did run a bunch of errands like I was planning. I picked up my grocery order. I got a pedicure. I had to spend a bunch of time dealing with a car insurance snafu that we were having. Then I got to the church stuff that I had planned on originally on Monday because it had to happen. So in theory, I just moved over the sticky. Then Wednesday, I read my small group. I wrote an 1800 word piece. So I'm feeling pretty good about myself. But this, for some reason, I thought I was going to fit into the chaos of my Monday. I don't know what I was drinking. And, but I did get all of this done. We had small group. I also had a sick kid at home on both of these days. And I got six Pomodoros in, which is really good, meaning no kid interrupted it, no calls interrupted it. I get other things done, but this is uninterrupted time. So this is what the rest of my week looks like. So I've put in, like, I have a lunch date here. That's a no budge. That's going to happen. 
we do library books on Tuesday. That's a no budge. It has to happen because things renew or expire on that day. But so this is kind of the model that I'm using where I'm going to, and these are literally Dollar Tree stickies. They came in a multi-pack. They were all on there. So they're not great stickies, but I'm going to throw them away at the end of the week. So I don't care. So I'm going to be trying this for a while, but then look at how pretty it is afterwards. This one, I think turned out really nicely. So I'm still going to get the aesthetic pretty layouts. It's just going to have to happen a week at the end of the week, or like this way, I did the first three days of the week, and now we're heading into Thursday. But it also means, so of these, this is for today. This is for, this was supposed to be a second filming session. I'm not having one of those. And yeah, this actually ended up, some of this ended up here, and then this got added to for today. I don't know, sliding time blocks, I think is what I'm going to call it. We'll see. So what do you think? I'm not pretty planning in the beginning, so I'll never be able to make those pretty planning, pre-planning videos that everyone else makes. But I think my planner still looks pretty, I think. And it helps me manage the chaos in my mind. So my weekly planner is gonna end up being two things if this works out for me long-term. It's gonna be one, a pre-plan of how I want my week to uh, look, at, uh, look like, look like. And then it will be a great historical, this is what I actually got done so I can see patterns, I can do tracking and all of that stuff. And it just gives me a chance to like pretty, pretty, almost like a journal. I don't know. What do you think? I really want to know. Be nice, but I really want your honest opinions down in the comments. And once again, subscribe, like, comment, all the things, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.